And hello, visuals. Welcome to the Visual Guy podcast, where I've said it last time, but I'll say it again. It's Chris's and Optimus's birthday, but more importantly, it's Chris's birthday. Uh, right. Fuck the dog, he's a prick. Fucking little knobhead, brand new pair of shoes, destroyed them, absolutely ripped them apart during the night. <laughs> <laughs> like, in the whole, it's the right shoe. My mum goes, Dad, Dad, it's the, what? Because this was, I don't know, five in the morning, so she should get up for work and have it on uh, late, so I thought, I'll have a little bit of a lion. And uh, he's destroyed his shoe, and it was one of them where I looked, like, she brought it up and looked at it and went, all right, there's like literally it's just uh, accept it. He might have done it at midnight, so there's no good telling him off now because he'd have been like, What are you telling me off for? And just looked at it for all right. What can you, what can you fucking what do? Again? But I've had him a week, I've had him a fucking week, 110 pound pair of shoes gone. Like I'm rich as fuck or something, mate. Nah, but then I thought to myself, Right, do you know what? There's going to be a moment in my life where I'm going to laugh at this. I'm just going to choose to fast forward and make it now. And I, I did give it a little chuckle. Just because <laughs> you, could, you could go nuts, couldn't you? And be like, you know a little boy? And show him it, smack him on the nose. Because like, I did show him it, though. I said, what's this? And he did the whole look, you know, where they look in the corner like yeah. that. So I, I, maybe he acknowledged it. Unless he's just playing, like, I'll pretend like I'm sorry for this fat dickhead. But, yeah, there's going to be a time where I'm sad because I have to kill him. You know, and for real. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> I thought, you know what, we'll just we'll just speed run to it. It is what it is. I've lost a fucking brand new pair of very sexy shoes. But I still love you, you prick. Because in the worst, if it was if it was like you that did it, or you know, or um so, you know, somebody else that did it as a prank setting them on fire, you'd be like, yeah man, because you consciously did it. You ain't got a fucking clue. So I'm just trying to look at the positives, alright? I'm just trying to look at the positive at all. <laughs> Plus I'm so like if it was Ellie, Jesus Christ, you would have just been like, Well, you are old as shit. You know what I mean, Blake? And she never did shit like that. No. So, <laughs> it's just... Uh, but I can't... I can see him now playing with his ball on that couch being happy as fuck. And I'm, like, the shoes are just non-existent because they're material things that I'll get back. I'll never get him back. So I'm choosing to just love and forgive. I feel like I'm taking big high step roads there because <laughs> a lot of people would have flipped out. You know what I mean? They would have done though, wouldn't they? Oh, look at the little fucking idiot. Well, that's what I mean. He's a little fucking arsehole. But he lives... What the... He's a saggy little slobbery prick that just... Fuck yeah, there you go. But hey, do you know what fucking depressed me as well? Because uh, dogs weigh heavy on my heart. Some dickhead did a video, right? They put their dog down and the dog's on the bed asleep. I thought this was a prank or it was going to be like a joke or like a... Ah. Um, because I thought, why are you going to film the, you putting the sheet over your dog on the hospital, like the vet bed, and getting to put to sleep? No, it turned out it was real. They put it to sleep and I thought, why the hell have you still been doing that? But then they had them, one of them moving pictures... Um, you know, like a video, you can put a, a frame and it's like mm. a picture which keeps moving off when the dog, ugh, when the dog was a puppy, constantly on replay, and I thought that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Like I don't know why they, sh- I didn't need to see a dog be put to sleep on the bed. It made me thinking that's ah, going to be a practice, isn't it? Not going to show that. Yeah. But then what they did at the end, I thought that's absolutely amazing. Like I wish I had one of them already. It just kept because when they had them as a puppy, it kept. Ugh. What a depressing way to start visuals. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Let's get back to happiness. Uh, I built lots of Lego. I love Lego. It makes me happy. Um, fucking, oh, I'm literally, I've just fucking fucked myself over again. Right. I've just built, oh, mate, oh. stay right there. I'm staying. It doesn't matter to you. Okay. But Lego just recently released, you know that thing that you haven't built, you little fucking bold, fucking 50 year old <laughs> cricket? Lego just built the technic version of his bike. Nice. And uh, with the fucking, look at the chain and everything. Yeah. It's fucking oh, beautiful. There's a little kickstand you can just fucking, and like I said, mate, it, Oh my god, I've got Bat- Batman's bike and thingy from the Batman. I'll have to get that. Oh yeah, so we can save the fucking box for a year. <laughs> as soon as you buy it, bring it here and I'm watching you build it. Um, but, but I get it with the little chain. And the, I, I don't know how much, I actually did a video on this, it's coming out soon. And I don't know how much of this looks like an actual engine from, you know, a, a mechanic's point of view. Well, yeah, it looks like an engine. So, if, like, if you're looking like that, it looks like a legit. Yeah, your engine will go in there, and that's your exhausts. Because I know, I know from the film what the the, the bike looks. I said, yeah, that looks like the bike from the film. But it, when you break it down, the actual mechanics of it, yeah, is that how yeah. the engine should sit on the bike with yeah, these bits it's, here? It's, and it's, obviously, these bits are obviously Batman shit. But that's right. basic. But take away the Batman shit, your mechanics wise, there, yeah, that's the engine. Yeah, your throttles and brakes, your steering, actually changed. Yeah, it's a bike. 
So they won't say you go, they've got it quite accurate. Because I thought the car, the engine bit of the car was quite good, because I know that you have a build it, but when you eventually <laughs> right. do, can't help it, mate. It's like it's like having a bar of chocolate sat there opened, you've had one bite, and like, why are you not finishing that? Well, I'm alright now, because I don't need much chocolate. Fucking finish that, mate. I had one of the massive dairy milks as my breakfast today. But no, um, to carry on with the fucking sad news, I've also built the new Guardian sets. The new ship is absolutely beautiful, mate. Like, it is the colours, ever. again, video coming up on the channel in the next couple of weeks of it. I and mean, there is a set in it called um, Rocket Ship. And this is where my mind's a bit confused. I'm going off on a tangent here because I just mentioned I had the best weekend ever building Lego. I, do you have a, do you have a, I will get back to the topic in a sec. Do you have an actual moment in time where you're the ultimately, ultimate relax? Like, I mean, like, literally there's not like just, the cinema's a big one for me, but there's another one, obviously, we know what it is, but do you have one? Oh, like I said, right, I'll say it right No, like I said, the cinema is my chilled out zone. Yeah, that, yeah. Sorry. And I'd say maybe just when I'm chill, just chilling at home. Yeah, when you're sat at home. On the Xbox or PlayStation. Yeah, playing a game, nothing yeah. else exists. Yeah, I just yeah. get off with the world and then just in my own little bubble. My one is building Legos. With, usually it's how I'm making my bird, but I'll restart. Yeah. If I'm doing a big set, it's definitely how if, if it's a small couple, of, maybe a couple of American pies. And I'm just like, there's no pressure, there's nothing, there's no job, there's no internet bills, there's no phone call. Ah, oh, happy and relaxed. And then when I finish putting it all away and I'm done, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I need more Lego, I need more Lego. That's my one of my all my happy places. But I'm building the new Rocket Raccoon set and it's it's called Rocket Ship. And it's because I'm confused now because it has Rocket, but it also comes with Baby Rocket with them together at the same time. And I'm thinking, because obviously we've spoken about Lego sets explorers playing the films and that. And I can't get my head around this, because as far as I'm aware, we're going to get flashbacks. I know this is entertainment ship, I'm going into it now. This is, this should, is this a flashback sequence? Well, we have to go, f have to yeah, go I get that, which to, is to fine. The story, so yeah, I guess it will be. Yeah, I, I feel like getting the set and showing you now, but it's upstairs, I can't bother well, well, running up. But I'm like, why are, they t why are they together then? Why have we got normal Rocket and Baby Rocket together at the same time? Unless they just want to give you Baby Rocket as like a market employee, but it says Baby Rocket ship, like a ship that maybe he makes to get away after he's been manip like twisted or fucking tortured and shit. But it and it's probably baffled my head to think, you know, how's the story laying out then? Because it's it this thing seems like a massive rocket, like a rocket film more than it does a Guardians yeah. film. But yeah, it's a cool, cool little set and whatnot anyway, but it's, and it looks beautiful as shit. But yeah, so I had a little bit of a depressing moment there because Baby Rocket again. Just and that's just gonna break my fucking heart. But yeah, building Lego. <laughs> and Technic, Lego Technic. But that's uh, yeah. This is my. These are, these are always fun to build because it's like the all the like, kind of take apart. Like yeah, you have to build the engine and yeah. then build the rest around the engine and shit. And I like the wheels. Uh, they remind me of my when, bike. When flat. I get when I get around to building my car, like, you know. So I'm sure. 50 pound? 50 quid. I think, was, it, I think it was, it was out 50 or 55. Yeah. One of them. I bought it straight off the Lego website, but I didn't know it was out. I was browsing the Lego website to get the, the Guardian set. So right. I saw it was like, that's not on my, my checklist of Lego sets to get. So I was like, I'm going to have to get that now. Obviously skipping myself, as always, to buy fucking this. But Because that little table in there is just dedicated to the Batman. Yeah. And it just sits nicely, even though the, the Batman was fucking smashed in dust. Just beautiful. But like, it's quite fun because I've been like chilling. <laughs> <laughs> like but, I said, I'm, I'm in the middle of sorting out the room, the spare room, because I want to get a PC in there. So, and that's where all the shit is going to go. And you finally, there. after years of knowing you, had started mounting a collection of stuff well, with phone calls, which I used to. I could fucking rip your fucking nuts off when we'd go around convention. Like, that's tidy Funko. <laughs> fucking get it then! And you're like, nah. Different times. No, I know, mate. I know, mate. I know. But I always used to be like, he loves it, why is he? And I'm sat there with fucking shopping bags. I've got no money left. But this is mint. <laughs> that's my impulsive shopaholic who gives a shit about fucking being rich. I don't care anymore. I've got a cool Funko. I mean, you've got, you've got, because you can make a lovely, because you've shown me some of your, I don't know all of them, but I know you've got like the big zombie ones and stuff, yeah. uh, the Marvel zombie shit, it can look amazing, mate, you can, some lights or whatever you want to do, what was yeah. like, oh, fucking, so, imagine, imagine actually doing these sets, will, Chris. It will get built eventually. Yeah, I've fucking heard it all before, with, mate. With, with the bike. I can see it now. I can see it now. And I'll make sure I read the comic book before I put Fucking arsehole, you little prick. <laughs> you, you should read it. It's only four parts, Chris. And it's a great read. Yeah, yeah. 
Ten years later. No, no. Oh, I can, ten years later. I can see me on my deathbed now. I'm like, 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 Chris, Chris. And you roll in because you're also on in a wheelchair. Did you do that Lego set? And all you'll say is, I was going to start it. And I'll go, oh, I just did. <laughs> I can see it now. I can fucking see it now. Um, but yeah, you, you'll, you'll have fun building that oh, chill. Yeah. It's cool. But yeah, check that out. They were nice together as well. It fits your theme because it's not just superhero. It's vehicles. vehicles. I don't know how much you like motorbikes. I like motorbikes. See, I don't give a shit about motorbikes. It's just, they said, this is the Batman's. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take that off your hands. No worries, Lego. Take all my shit. Yeah, but, but it might be at Smith's, actually. Like, quite possibly, mate, yeah. I haven't had a decent Smith. Mate, I've got 700 quid to spend in uh, October with my vouchers at Smith's. So expect a phone call saying, <laughs> okay. Chris, I need an hour of your time. I need you to maybe push a trolley for us because I have to get my calculator out. But the worst thing is, it's only a £50 thing. He's right. Last year I did, I saved up 500 to spend, and they have to do it £50 card at a time. They go, numbers in, psh, numbers in, psh, numbers in. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, I forget my little calculator out, and I'm like, hey, phone up that's £30, that Lego set, whatever, and I add it all up. Oh, it's fucking mint, though. I, I can't, October's already amazing because it contains Halloween. You need me to push a trolley around for an hour. Yeah, just to, uh, I'll buy you a coffee. Thanks. <laughs> I'll buy you a coffee, don't worry mate. Did it, did it, I thought, wait, did you not start that love to shop shit? No. I thought you did. No. But it's, so it's supposed to be so you can afford Christmas presents for people. Yeah, I just spend it on myself. Spend yeah, myself. all the fucking time. And usually I spread them out, but this year I went, nope, every single penny on my Christmas. I thought I'd say, yeah, maybe, maybe it was 50 then. Maybe it was 50. But it's uh, it's a nice quick. It took me what I'd say it took me half an hour forty five to build. Yeah. So it'd be a nice little if you want to spread it out and just chill out and. So I'll buy the the, the, the bike and I'll build the boat to go. Yeah, and then you can send me a picture and I'll be like, <laughs> fucking finally, <laughs> fucking. Yeah, I, I didn't say when. <laughs> you fucking asshole, you dickhead. But just uh, they need some air in it. I don't think Batman's going to chase down the penguin very well. Look at the suspension, Chris. So we can like. Well, have you seen him? How many fucking rides it, it needs to have the suspension like that? There's the penguin. Dead. Well, to be fair, he's only driving fucking through Chicago. Mm. It's nice. It's the, the car that, that does the fucking. Nah, oh, mate. <laughs> but to have the yeah, to have that next to the car just looks fucking sick. Because this, uh, I always get the like. It looks to me. You can quote correct me if I'm wrong. It looks to me like an old World War Two bike. It's an old school bike, yeah. That's what, to me, it looks better. That's with somebody yeah. with no fucking knowledge on bikes. It does look like an old school bike. Is that where the gas goes? It is. Ha ha ha! No, that because my dad used to have one. He used to <laughs> have to figure it that way and whatnot and fucking... And that's his light. It is its light. The Batman needs to be able to see. He, he may be a vigilante, but he drives safely. He, drives, he uses he, he the... Drives by the law. Well, because no, what... he doesn't. What would he, <laughs> what, what would he do? Because he hates lawbreakers. So if he ran a red light, would he beat himself up? He left it. Just, did you see that, see that guy, he did a video, I mean, did I show you where he fought himself because he ate a biscuit? No. Because I was like, oh, what was it, a custard cream? He said, I'm stood there and I'm fucking getting angry and I, I thought, I'm going to have a custard cream biscuit. Then I'm thinking to myself, who the fuck are you, mate? You're a fucking stupid custard cream. I started getting annoyed myself. Then I stood up to myself, looked at myself in the mirror and said, do you want some? Because I'll fucking give you some. I fucking knocked myself out, didn't I? And you're like, what? <laughs> it's the most bizarre, weird tangent of... You wait, you see, you're angry, you ate a custard cream. And then I, I said to myself, Do I want some? And I did want some. So I knocked myself out, didn't I? And what, are you, what are you going on about? I'm going to have to show you, mate, because it's. When you watch it, you think, Okay, okay, we're gonna, he's probably going to have a fight with something. No, it's himself. Yeah, <laughs> you're some weirdos out there, right? Yeah. So, but yeah, would and somebody answer that question? Would Batman batter himself to then turn himself in? I think brain, I think jumping in red light, it, it's nothing compared to what he goes against. I think it'd be yeah. fine. I suppose, maybe, yeah. Speaking of, um, looking at Spider-Man on his bike there, and I always thought it was mental when Spider-Man had vehicles. Because he doesn't drive. He well, 16. If, <laughs> let's put it this way, right? How many times have you driven a vehicle? Just a rough guess. A thousand, two thousand, three thousand, a hundred thousand times. Oh, fucking, yeah. Right, okay. So if you have the ability to shoot webs, are you driving or are you shooting some webs? I'm webbing it. Exactly, mate. So whenever you saw him in his buggy, I thought, yeah, the buggy's cool and all. Well, I still was on a, well, not even still on a date, I'd still web it. 100%, mate. Just because it's... I mean, I might get bored eventually, but imagine just fucking... You've got a web sling to fuck, aren't you? Yeah. 
It's like fucking. Again, I, I'm very repetitive with stuff like my meals. That's because I'm a fussy eater. What's the meals got to do with all this? Because it's all about repetitiveness. Like constantly getting in the car, getting in the car. If you've got webs, why not do something different? Well, what about? Yes, where is that? Yeah, I can be. Uh, yeah, but suppose it's the same situation with your feet, though. Yeah, would you drive? Use your feet, or would you walk? Or uh, would you drive? Well, I'll we'll drive a fucking drive. Depends. If I'm playing Pokemon Go, I want to hatch eggs. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll do a bit. I haven't played Pokemon Go in a good while, to be fair. Though. Well, safety laws. You can't do that when you're driving, so you're gonna have to walk. Yeah, I actually, just warned you. Even sometimes I'll be walking, right, or I'll be pushing the bike with you're flag. Too fast. It's, it gives the thing <laughs> saying uh, um, you're, you're you're breaching the speed limit, or are you a passenger in a car? And I'm like, I'm neither. I'm literally like that with a flag in my gob. But it's obviously the GPS is just glitching out or whatever. But you think, yeah. fuck me, what do you think I have? The flash running about like a dickhead. But hey yo. Hey yo. But uh, what else has happened? We know Chris is a fully qualified wagon driver now. I am. Busted. I am a fully qualified wagon driver. So um, um, anybody needs some stuff moved in a wagon, give him a call. Oh, yeah. if anyone got knows there's any jobs going, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> if, anyone, if anybody out there needs it, that'd be fucking... Uh, be fucking, uh, what's that one? Carly United. Eddie Stobart, what they do with elderly people. Uh, nope. Looked. Tried. Is Eddie Stobart still a thing? No. Can't, well, yes and no. Cause They've what? been bought out. Yeah. They're still Lord. They're still titled under Eddie Stobart, but they've been bought out by another company who own another company. Yeah, because didn't somebody buy it for a quid years ago? It went bankrupt or some yeah. shit, and like a brother or a family member... Because you have to buy law, they had to buy it. Yeah. yeah, they have to hand over money. Yes. So they bought it for a good some. Because you hear about that weird fucking business shit and fucking. Yeah. And to save like, the yeah. business, they have to buy it, but they, they have to give it to another member of the family. But you can't just hand it over. Yeah, they have to. It. Yeah. So they bought it for a quid, but then after so many years, it went fucking downhill anyhow. So then it's like this can, new company bought it. How could a wagon company go downhill? Because you're just delivering shit. It's not that it's. Was it more complex than that? Yeah, it oh, is. Oh, the it wagon is. industry more complex. It's, it's that. T- what fucked it up is that airport. Carlo Airport? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's not that's not in Carlo. Yeah. <laughs> it's called the Lake District um, Airport. Even though what, because they're just doing deliveries by plane? Even though it's not in the Lake District. Um, it, it just fucked them up. It is. It was an absolute pointless bill that cost them billions... At millions, sorry, and it doesn't get used. It still gets there's used. No, there's no planes coming from it. No, it only just gets used for oh, your, your local Fred who's got his little fucking Spitfire or his little fucking washing machine. Oh, it's like people just start just yeah. do their own like little. Not, it, it never went commercialised. Okay. Well, they had big plans for it and everything else, and it just all fell through. Carl's not really a big enough city. Like you know, when we if we were to go abroad, mm. we when they were going to do little commercial flights from like. If you wanted to go to London for the day, for the day or something, you can fly to London. Or if you wanted to go to Ireland or yeah, you'd top of Scotland or Liverpool, just little commercial Newcastle flights. and stuff. Yeah. That's what we'd usually go to, wouldn't it, yeah. for airports? Speaking of flights and travel, I don't know if you'd want to or not. In our, we need to go to London. We'd, yeah, London's getting... That's happening. We'll, we'll plan... Yeah, that's happening. Don't worry. But I really, really... Because if you can do it, it's cheap as 300 quid, right? I want to do a weekend in Italy. So bad. Because I've watched so many videos in Italy... And I didn't realise how amazing it looked. How are you, Lee? Because I watched videos on it. Okay. Like, there's... Um, I'll show you a video we'll over the, Vignette, later. Sure. Well, it's not just like... It's like Naples and stuff. and it, like They've got these beautiful beaches and these little uh, water little uh, are we, are we towns and driving? stuff. I mean, if you wanted to drive, you could, you could... It means you would do all the driving. But you can literally go on a Friday and be back on a Sunday night for as much as 300 quid and you can just do loads of wandering around and shit. It just looks... Like, Italy was always a country I always thought of, ah, oh, you sided with the Nazis, you're a bunch of little dickheads really, aren't you? But the only best thing you give us was Mario, but he's not even really from you. He's just an Italian plumber, but made in Japan. But, and then, like... Who lives in America? Yeah, yeah, who lives in America, yeah. It's fucking nuts. But I watched a, uh, I watched, there's a, obviously, you know, in AC Milan are. Yeah. They have this, I'm going to have to, I'll show you one of the videos on TikTok, because it's, I know it's football related, but they have this beautiful thing before they do the games, and there's this Italian song which I can't stop playing now. It's like a weird 80s sort of song, but it's, I don't know, it's fucking unreal. And then I, it goes along with loads of these compilations of Italy. And like I said, these, these beautiful architected, architectured houses and whatnot. And I was like, I need to go to Italy even just for a weekend, just to like experience it. Because so much of it just looks vibrant and busy and bustling and hustling. And 
the Coliseum and everything. Oh. Well, we can do. Now we're both in jobs where we're getting good money. Now we're both in jobs. Well, we will be. Well, what, well, yeah. It's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I just need to stop spending. Like, yes, we can fucking do our fucking Japan. Yeah, mate. See, see, that's the one where I would suspend any major event, put the target on the calendar for Japan, and just pump what money I could in Japan. And because, like I said to you, that's not a holiday for me. That's a that's a massive shopping trip and a holiday. Yeah. So I need to. I would. Oh my god! Be sat there in the Pokemon shop. Be like, that's so much money. I'm like, fuck! Oh, I've spent money, Chris. Have you got like five grand? Because I'll have all these baskets full of Pokemon shit, and I am not leaving the Pokemon Center without all this stuff. Plus, then I'll have to pay to get it sent off. Yeah, to me. And Teresa will be stood there like, what the fuck's getting done? What's he spending over there? Oh. So, so in theory, all we'd have to do is pay for flights. We can sort out accommodation over there, because accommodation over there, don't, I've been told not to do fucking hotels and whatever, just do little B&Bs. On that day, yes, yeah, so that's your responsibility. I'd just be free. Chris. Where we, I, I, I couldn't, I'll sleep outside the Pokemon Center, mate. Not a problem. Oh, this this white man stood outside the Pokemon Center again. Okay, uh, just I'm just, this big fat ginger bastard with a half eaten burger. He's open, not yet. Okay, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, just fucking go for BMDs wherever we end up. Still BMDs. That's the plan, right? Because yeah. so cheap, the BMDs over there are so cheap. And you get fucking full on accommodation as well half of them. And it's, most of them are put out to people's homes. It's like, yes, yes, stay upstairs. <laughs> Listen, I know a lot of your houses are made out of paper. You don't want me upstairs. Are you sure you want me downstairs? They'll be sat there chilling in the bed. Night, darling, night. Ah! Hello, love. I'm in your bed now. <laughs> but, yeah. So there's there's a few little spots I need to uh, and it's a few scratches I need to itch. But like I said, Japan's like the biggie where yeah. I need to suspend any sort of extra little spending. And I want to go back to Florida. Yeah, I've met. I really want to do America again. Again, looked at villas. You can get a decent villa. I have a night, a decent price. And I have to again. All I have to do is just pay for the flight separately. Mate, this goes back to our, if if I win the lottery tomorrow, you wouldn't have to worry about this because then Chris, mate, all expenses paid. Whatever you want, me and you will go and travel now. That's it, done, dusted. Travel the world. That's it. And I'd be like, it's all on me, don't worry, because I've, I've just somehow won the lottery and I've got fucking millions. I well, don't give a fuck. You need to put it on. I do put it on. I've started doing it. Do you, do, do you go out and do it or I, do you do it online? No, on the phone. Is that worse or better? No, no I do it online. I, right. I, well, I, mine's direct debit. Mine just constantly comes out. Oh, no, because I um, I definitely do it on the uh, Saturdays. This right, no. Yeah, the Saturdays. Saturdays. Uh, and every, it's, it's sometimes, a, is it a Wednesday draw or a Thursday draw? Wednesday. Yeah, and uh, sometimes, uh, definitely every Saturday, sometimes a Wednesday draw. Mm. But like I said, because we were having this talk at work, and I, I said, I've got a, a list of people that don't need to worry about it. Like, if I win, that's a, you know, like a million. I can mm. only really sort out so many people. If I win stupid money, there's a bunch of people that are all sorted. There's a couple of lives at work and whatnot. And then that's it. Me and you, you it's, it's done. I don't want any money back off you. If I've got enough money for me and you to go travel and have a fucking kick-ass time, I'm not asked. Because what's the point of being a multi-millionaire and doing it on your own? There's no fucking point. Exactly. And it'd be mint to say, Chris, what's your ultimate dream? I don't know. It's have a fucking Peugeot 306. There you go. You got it. <laughs> I don't know what car you want. But if that's your dream, mate, you fucking got it. Uh, my pal Andy would have a, enough money to sort out his uh, a tattoo shop however he wanted it, wherever he wanted it, all done and dusted. And then I'd be like, we're back and forward, boys. Uh, but me and Chris, uh, we're off to America for, uh, for, to whatever we can be asked. Right. Just travel the world. <sighs> That's the fucking dream. Nice, just to travel the world, not have to worry about money or anything like that. Just fucking get yep. it. Yeah, but the only thing is, if I win, mate. I want enough money to spend on myself, but if me and you are travelling, I need you to be money management. There you go, I'm paying you to do a job. Money management, because I will be like, that's oh, all right, there's, there's 20 mil there. Dan, you only want 30 mil. All oh, right, there's 25 mil. <laughs> <laughs> so I need you to be like, there you are, Dan. Yeah. But I would, to be fair, the first I'll, thing. I'll be your accountant. There you go. That's, what, that's why I'm giving you all this money for that job. That'll do. I would, the first thing I would do, though, and I'd ask Smiths if I could just have like, Five hours in the shop on my own. Just close the store. Just, right? is there any chance? How much will it cost me? Even if you stay open an extra hour or an extra couple of hours, how much is it going to cost me just to run down these aisles and be like a freak and then want to use clean it up and I'll just take all the shit I want and that's it. Done, dusted. And then I want left alone for like at least two days where I can just lay loads of Lego out on the floor, even though I'll hurt, and just, just build it. Just laying Lego. You know people have that dream about laying the money? 
I want to lay on like Pokemon cards and Lego yeah, but it's not shit. Like you've got much room to lie on the no, floor. Have you? No, you're, you're absolutely right, mate. You're absolutely right. I'm gonna have fuck to fucking rent a barn or something. Ah! I, would, I still think I would die though if I won the lottery. My heart wouldn't take it. Like shit, everything you want you can have now. But guess what? Too excited, deed. So you have to do it for me, mate. You have to get tight with my face on your hand. Okay. Like I'm doing it with Dan. You have to means I'm um, build techniques. <laughs> yeah, you can build techniques. You can fucking build techniques. Ah, oh. yeah, we'll get out of that that hole. I hate that hole. Yeah. Be nice. Be nice. You never know. You never know. Nah. Just take off. The only thing is, I I miss that prick, and I'd love to bring him with us, but I can't bring him with us because he'd be a prick. Yeah. <laughs> But I love that prick. <laughs> if there was a safe way of doing it, and the worst thing is, you know, when people travel with their animals, they put them down below, don't they? Yeah. And if it was like a twelve-hour flight, for example, I'd be like, "Can I go see him?" But no, you can't go. Well, down that there. woman, uh, it was she was on the news. It was a, she was going somewhere. I don't know where she was going, but it was going to cost her more to put her dogs in a dog hotel than take them with her. So what she did is she hired a private jet and took them with her. Oh yes. <sighs> So, if you've got the money, you've got millions, just fucking hire a private jet. Yeah, do that, mate. Yeah, fuck yeah, we're not going to come with are we? It doesn't matter. Fuck yeah. And then I can pay somebody to come with us and be like, listen, he's a prick and he's a nightmare. But here's however much, just make sure he's all right. Don't fucking let him go. I wish I could just put it to his head. You've got to give I just take my mum. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Fuck, Jesus Christ, yeah, cheers, See, that's why you're here. You're getting paid to do the, because I'm just thinking of toys, toys, toys. Getting Fuck. paid to do the thinking. I see, I, I want to do some proper dance, like go to a strip club, right? You know, instead of putting money down their panties and be like... What, you just click the one pound notes on them? <laughs> the one pound notes on those. No, I want to be like, there's a first edition Charizard love. Uh, she'd be like, what the fuck can I do that? <laughs> and we go for a private show, be like, yeah, do you want me to dance with your baby? No. This epic new Guardian set. We're gonna build it together. And then she'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and I just, I'd be like, "She'd be like, how sexy is this?" I'd be sat there for you <sighs> with coke, not cocaine, but Coca Cola and fucking <laughs> chocolate everywhere. And she'd be like, "This is fucking weird, isn't it?" I'd be like, hey, "You're being paid to shut the fuck up and build." Oh, yeah, you got some weird imagination here. And I, I really, really want to go to like Saudi Arabia and shit. And Why? Do, do the ghost hunting shit. The, one of the best things to watch, right, is Saudis ghost hunting because they always say this one prayer. I can't remember what it's called. Melash Melama or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fucking nuts. But there's like, I don't know if it's a tradition. I don't know if it's because they're not scared. But obviously over there, they're called ghost jinns. And they'll, they'll investigate on their own, right? I'll have to show you one of these because they're fucking mental. And they are not bothered. So they'll go in. There's literally shit getting chucked at them and stuff in these videos. Whether it's real or not, don't know. It's up for debate. But like a door will shut and they run over and they just boot it down. And they just run in the room and go, that's true of our And I'm like, oh my, you want, you know, whereas most ghosts are like, oh, there was a noise and like that. Yeah. These fucking charge into shit, kick doors down and that, shout on these prayers and that. Shit gets chucked at them. They start chucking chairs at like emptiness, thinking they might hit a ghost. Like, you guys are fucking lunatics. Like if a door, if that door down, just slammed, we'll be like, whoa. But they're like, no, fuck off, they're like, let's spin around. And you're like, what? They're, honestly, they are the most craziest ghost hunters ever. I want to sit. I don't want to do it. I want to watch one of them live do it. <laughs> like, just follow them. Because fuck me, mate. They are not bothered. Like, a noise comes from the room. We might give it a little, oh. Like, they'll be like, oh, my God. And run straight in, looking around like, you fucking lunatics. So I want to do weird shit like that. Okay. And fuck Technic, mate. We can fucking buy this. I can't ride it, but I'll... Well, why don't you get your license? How many down long have I been telling you to get your fucking license? Mate, if if I if if I get enough money, we're gonna get an epic bike and I'll be in a sidecar. <laughs> and I'm gonna get like a f I'll get like a nerf gun and we'll just go down Bocce Gate, you know like the nerf gun that like, All I'm thinking is fucking on the buses. <laughs> <laughs> on the buses. <laughs> I hate you, but nah. Uh, uh. Yeah, then we go to the sidecar and it fucking ends up getting separated and she always goes one way. Mate, that'll, that's fine with me, pal. I'll just sit. It'll be the scene I'll bust and furious. <laughs> Mate, that'll be fucking sick. We could, we could make our own Fast and Furious Carlo edition. Like I said, I'll just chill in the sidecar with a Nerf gun. Oh, and fucking little scooters. Yeah. Because that's all I can ride without getting a proper license. That uh, might be alright, because <laughs> if the law stops us, I'll just... 
Pay us. And pay you off. Pay them off. Just pay them off. We own the law, mate. We we literally own the law. I think that chain's probably a little bit too loose, though, is it? Just a little bit, yeah. Oh, the wheel Batman. Needs, the wheel needs pulled back. Ba- Batman! You need to fucking sort your shit out, son. Or a, or a chain taken out of it. Or a, or a kick. Well, it, I needed to use 34, and I used all 34. So... I guess Lego can't always get it right. That was the, one of the best things to build because you all of them are little. Actually, build the chain. Huh? Yeah, see all of them are individual mm-hmm. links, and you have to sit there and go one, two, three, four. It, oh my god, my thumb hurt at the end of it, but oh, it's fun. I'm sure, if there, there's another set of somewhere that has the chain that's got like a chain link thing to it, or whatever. But hey, yo, uh, I think we've rumbled on enough. Yeah, enough. Chris has got his birthday. Yeah, to go home, get sorted. Back to our. Uh, Hollow little fragile lives. Yeah. Destined for nothingness. Yes, I'll win all of your texts. Oh, cheers, pal. I thought that I don't want to text. I want you to fucking kick this door down and I don't have like, I don't know, proper expensive swords. Well, I and won't I'll... get the money just yet, but I'll still win. I'll be okay. number one. <laughs> Mate, we've got to like rent out Carlisle Castle, right? And we'll just make up our own little scenario. So say like you're like an evil villain, like a Frenchman that's come to take over the castle. And I'm like, fuck off, you French fuck. And I'll have a sword, but I'll spray it in oil and have it on fire. We'll fight at night. We'll ding, 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 my avenge my father. And all that shit. Aha! How beautiful would that Standing be? on top of the castle. How, can you imagine the piss heads of Carl? What the fuck's he doing about your dippy little mush? And we're like, ah, my father. Oh, that would be fucking amazing. Just up as nights. Yes, just was fucking nice, the little fluffy bit of the hair and the... Oh! Mint. Mint. Yeah. Are you still eating drink cover? Probably. Yeah, you're not coming to Japan then, are you? Imagine that. You'll fucking eat Japan. Fucking will, the little savage prick. Nearly at my comic books and potentially... But what is here? I think these are lottery tickets. I don't know. What's uh, yeah, your what's super draw lottery draw numbers. I'm guessing that's his birthday card. No, that's Teresa's. Oh, is uh, that? Her birthday is on the... 3rd of March. Was it? <laughs> no, 3rd of May. April, May. 3rd of I May. I thought you got the dog a birthday card. No. <laughs> it's got no age. No. It's just like, with age. <laughs> and it's, a happy uh, birthday. <laughs> yeah, I think it's from my uncle. Yeah, it's from my uncle. And he's got some lottery tickets. Why did he sell it? some lottery tickets. No. <laughs> I wouldn't have opened it. It's because he had it in his mouth. The envelope ripped. I'm thinking, that's a card. Thinking, Fucking hell, you dickhead. And then my comic books are already the thing he's like, been chewed through with that. And luckily... The, the envelope's like that, and the comic book's like that, and just chewed the fin bit. You know, arsehole, man. I was, I was thinking, shit. And I could hear the door, like the ding thingy, uh, and I could hear it go, rrr, rrr, and then silence, and I heard like a rip. I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Fucking shitty ass down here, like, oh, what are we doing? So I showed it quickly. He hasn't done it. He's bent it a little bit, but hey, yo. But yeah, visuals, we'll end it there. So, um, I mean, you don't have to. Well, you rush off whenever you want, Paul, but yeah, we'll. Um, yeah. yeah. And the time I get back, get sorted. It'd be time scanning, so... Oh, you wouldn't do a good job at, like, the super bikes, really, with a lean like that. You could lean it. It's obviously not that far, but you could lean it. Like that. <laughs> Batman could. I wouldn't be surprised if the next Batman film goes float for a bit. You know what I mean? It is Batman. One of them. Well, it could be uh, Black Superman's bike, and it fucking all separates and fucking falls down. Oh, Black Superman, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he goes under the truck, doesn't he? And the yeah. wheels are like... <laughs> He's thinking Black Superman What's that And then I remember Idris Elba yeah. Adrian on Black Superman Best line of that film Swear to God But visual sake We're listening Fuck knows what that was um, I need to go clean up Dog poo Balls And chewed up drain covers And a pissy sofa And a pissy sofa oh, I'll smash that up tomorrow It depends If Newcastle lose tomorrow Then I'll definitely do it tomorrow <laughs> that gives you yeah. Fucking you. If we lose tomorrow It'll be so bizarre It's rock bottom Of the Premier League Coming to St James's Park Fuck me After we've just smashed 4-1 and 6-1 But visual sake for listening Enjoy the rest of your week This is Tuesday <gasps> Guardians tomorrow Go watch Guardians tomorrow Me and Chris will be there I think this might be One of the few films That might make Chris cry Potentially I don't know Well we'll see Because I don't know Actually how it's going to end So fuck knows but uh, keep it in, keep it, keep it on. And as always, I love you, bye. Wolverine's crotch. Please.